I will say in this by Muka episode, no, your baby can't nurse a damn for Ahmed, new one who wants him. Can it your pony make Kuna as or Nuga than the Kuno? And in Zimbabwe, break a car home. Yes, Shasi. I will just ask specific case, we know, Obiu. And anything you say, no, cannot bring the person back. But nip any wound after, no, in some way, peer peer mu, chirino. That's what is raising too many questions in an American baby. So we are going to look at some of the questions. Question number one. Can the Japan and the Kokun Ahmed and also Bobi Pa and the Man Kokun? Personally, I don't think he did, but it's possible that Kennedy may have exposed Ahmed's identity to people that wanted to do him harm when he said this on the two TV. Why no? Ahmed no. Oni. We a friend Ahmed. The picture back home. Fun to see any case. God good. The picture back. What did Madina here? What premise is that? Muno, you make some people say a So as you can, can see, rolling on the screen. This is a boy. After so, I can't say I said on the two TV. I even did the Paymuka episode condemning Kenya the Japan for publicly inciting violence against someone. Today, let's start off with Kennedy's video, which started this whole mess. Anas. If you set people up, it is not investigation. The boy is so corrupt and wicked, evil. And the part that raised a huge red flag for me was when he said this. Anyway, let me tell you, boy, be your friend Ahmed. Oba, muhun wa promise is how baby ya mushino. Why we are what the idea abebuha? Boy, ya we are very dangerous. What you mean na haya? We share baby ya mo pa pa na zoom. Oba, your promise is how baby ya me say me. Mumuno ni ya baby ya me tia. This is a boy. Yeah, you know what Ghana? How you mean? See what they're trying to do about Captain Mahama? You come near, yeah, yeah. And a, a person who is supposed to know better goes on TV, sits there, and just incites violence just because you are rich and powerful and you are mad. This should not be acceptable because, like I said, children watches the television and learn from what they see and hear. Disrespect invites disrespect. Violence incites violence. And a person like you inciting violence gives other people the permission to do the same thing. One point a man has a video no cry about say who oh, a public eye, who oh, a celebrity and as oh yeah they be a man for a follower. Some people never follow you know. Some of them tends to be blind followers. They say I dey be a baby so I'm so money and I dey be a be can so money and some of them a little portion of them tends to do so because they wanna work and so money. And try a crown as a fool be done and as a reform punch so money grass and they did. Eating grass may seem like an unorthodox way to show your religious devotion. But for members of the Raboni Centre Ministries in Hurunkura, South Africa, grazing on greenery is a key part of their spiritual practice. Hey, we've been Angelo Binim, Kraka Trena, Solo for some form of Piotumra, and some day, because they believe and trust in what he was telling them. So when someone like in the Japan goes on public television and incites violence against someone, some people will tend to follow his direction. Binim Zoa can say a mouthful she had on the premises, sir. But the problem is, so what can Zim be saying? People tend to hear what they want to hear. For example, my last video on Men's Good, some people disregarded the whole almost 20 minutes of the video because I said this. One time, you know, I'm one, and I'll catch you. Oh, there's a business room, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm ready. Scan what the brain on. All money move 20 million because a person will be a pure water company. In this 20 million, no, he has a scan and they are register company, no, our Ghana Standard Board. Even though what I meant then was to license his pure water company at the Ghana Standard Board. Some of an argument in say register company, our Ghana Standard Board. In this, you are wrong with everything in the video is wrong. And that's a classic example of people choosing to hear what they want to hear. So when you say this, what bad premise is that? So as you can see, rolling on the screen. This is a boy. Anyone can choose to hear just that part and disregard everything you said after. And until I say we hear Bibina Saman for status of Moody Wachia, you have to watch what you say. In other words, think before you talk. With that said, I don't think Kennedy Japan killed or had Ahmed killed because anyone do something for a reason. I go to work because of money. I listen to news because I want to be informed. I exercise because I want to keep my body healthy. Everyone do something for a reason. And if it comes to this particular case, what will Kennedy Japan gain from Ames death? As far as I know, nothing. There is no investigation into Kennedy Japan by Anas and Ahmed or the Tiger Eye. So personally, even though what he did was dumb and stupid, I don't think he had any reason to kill him. If Kennedy will have anyone killed, I think it will be Anas himself and not a second-hand man, in my opinion. But if the situation was to be, say, hey, Biak, 
Can ask me Tiger Eye on my investigation into Canada Japan. I am a man who is in Canada Japan. I corrupt. Why you go kuni pa? Why isin? Why isin? I dear betchi. I am a obi amode sa documents no. I be obi attorney general. I am a man who dey prosecute to Canada Japan. I am a prison for life. Ne be a man. I am going to do sa documents. Ne be a obi achi ne kuna di sa documents na. That will be one of those circumstances, sir. You will know that this was orchestrated by Kennedy Japan. And as they be a can say, she a made one a premises, a young mon on a dear be a bow betuano. A dear chin and a be a boa made your coon one a premises. That was will be one of those circumstances. I will say, no, this thing Kennedy Japan is somehow complicit. But when it comes to this specific death, personally, I don't see it. Nani ya fe, di en ti a man fo be bire na ye tina mwen sa wa kene japon wa so ne kuno. Well, I think mainly is because of how the news was broken. And up to this point, mi kwa I don't understand. According to reports, no, Ahmed ye kuno Wednesday en yumre on the 16th this month. And in less than 8 hours, less than 8 hours, Anas posted a video confirming the death of his friend. But here is my problem. Anas am ma bo en ti a ma me kanse, madam fo amene ni ye juma. Ubi a shootu ne kuno. But instead, he posted part of Kennedy Japan's video of when Kennedy Japan went after Nas and showed pictures of Anas and Ahmed on the two TV. Who does that? Your friend was just shot dead in less than eight hours. How do you even get the vim to sit on a computer, take part of an interview, post it online, targeting just one man because he said people should beat him whenever they see him? What some people don't seem to put together is that video Anas posted was taken out of context, or better yet, he took the part that better served what he needed it for. Same video now, now school you free more opposed to some parts. That video was not even about Ahmed. It was about Anas. He wanted to show people that Anas was corrupt. He wanted to unmask the masked journalist. That was the purpose of the video. And in the heat of the moment, a stupid side got the better of him. And he showed pictures of Anas and his compadres. Just to show people that Anas is corrupt. Which is still a stupid thing he did. But Anas conveniently didn't show that part either. This was the actual video Anas posted. Boy, why are you very dangerous? What you mean, Nahaya? We share maybe a mumpa parasu or buy your premises. I am missing me. Mumuno, ni a baby, I am itia. You are a bat. Sir Ahmed, no. Musho, I am a picture. So no, ni a red. Somebody picture and chill. We are a musho. What you mean, Nahaya? Yes. Aye, ni ni. Boy, no. Ahmed, no. Oni. We a friend Ahmed. The picture back. We are mumpa to so ni a red. Oh, God, the picture back. What you mean, Nahaya? Yeah. What back premises have been mono? You are basically because of Anas. So as you can, can see, rolling on the screen. This is a boy. Or a bad boy. And this was the actual video that two posted. Boy, why are you very dangerous? What you mean, Nahaya? We share maybe a mumpa parasum or buy your premises. I am missing me. Mum mono. You are better be a mitria. You are a bad. Sir Ahmed, no. Moon show homo pictures in the area. Baku the Desmond, made in the pictures, Baba. Daniel, made in the pictures, Baba. Sam Larry, made in the pictures, Baba. Raman, made in the pictures, Baba. You know, Muye Jumawo, Aman, Aman, Nas, yes, Saga Eye. Ayinini, boy, no, eh, Ahmed, no, Wuni. Wey, a friend Ahmed. The picture Baku, I'm fan to Sunay Yakis. God, good. The picture Baku, what you mean, I am. What bad premises have been mono? You are basically because of Anas. So as you can, can see, rolling on the screen. This is a boy. Mm. Or a bad boy. Or pursue us, Sheikh Atani. Eh, eh, waka. Now we are no more new to Dubai. No more cost to what? How many cameras? As you see there, we say. Now Anas, I can share one bedroom. Say. Now go away. How many are we in the bathroom? Say, no, no, no. A taxi message. What the man has? And they know we are criminals. They have to charge them. They have to charge Anas. Now you see the difference. In Ghana, Anas is supposedly the number one undercover journalist. In this same business here, police for investigating. The Canada Japan video we are posting here already can say we are down from the wound. Is this your journalistic investigative conclusion in just eight hours that Canada Japan killed your friend? If not, then why did you attach his video to? <laughs> Because in my opinion, you could have just said your friend, your co-worker, Ahmed, is dead. And let the people fill in the blanks. But no, you didn't do that. You just told people that my friend is dead. And this guy is why my friend is dead. Like I said, Nipa Uwaha, Ndiye Mfa Mwane Ni Obeka. Aman Fobinum Tayadan Sechi, Aman Fobinum Tayakene Japan Wachi. Some people have even started 
making political arguments with this. But in my opinion, both men, Kennedy Japon and Anas, both are wrong here. One did a video inciting violence against someone, which is stupid. And the other guy says, because of this video, this guy did. That's why my friend is dead. Which is also nonsensical. Then there is a great part that I don't see people talking about as much. Which is Anas, Ahmed, and Tiger Eye. The work they do is dangerous. And check your credit BBC, I think. Post two video be about Anasa. Now always keep you in Malawi. Watch. People somewhere else that we need to inform us that you are the killers, no? You are the people. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> And I know you are not and we can't know what happened here until the policing organizations come out and say we've caught the guy who did this, and this is our findings. <laughs> and also, we can't talk about this story and not talk about the Ghana media because you know the people that made this story into something that it is not are journalists and bloggers. A day after SMC and MekoAdumOnline.com, GhanaWeb.com, and among other sites, almost all the sites I visited, no, on my front page. Article say oh honey now was about this story. How can that be? The story be the same break here. Most journalists and bloggers don't even research anything. Everyone is thinking about clicks, views, money, and we just forget about the true core of journalism, which is to shine light where there is no light. Speak the truth without thinking about what you will gain. And it's not just in Ghana, but everywhere nowadays. Hollywood actor Denzel Washington perfectly put that in this video. Check it out. If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. So what do you do? That's the great question. <laughs> what is the long-term effect of too much information? One of the effects is the need to be first, not even to be true anymore. Mm -hmm. So what a responsibility you all have to be to tell the truth, not just to be first, but to tell the truth. We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care if it's true. Just say it. Sell it. Anything you practice, you'll get good at, Inclu including BS. To be point in United say, don't just believe anything anyone posts online or what is in the newspaper. Take time and research the story a little bit. Don't come to conclusions so damn fast. Say traffic light I saw red, that's a teenager beating a curb trauma. Don't come into a conclusion, say teenagers in United do traffic light to move so be on four packs of cigarettes every single day. Now the age of 60, still not as you live well. Don't think so no cigarettes four packs a day. Once you bet may live to 60 years. Don't just follow what everyone is saying because it might be true. Take a little bit of time, do your own research, and then come to your own conclusion. It's very important. <laughs> but I'll end with this. Journalists are the gateway to truth. As much as we hate them sometimes, we need them. Because without the work they do, we cannot know what is going on. Some raise their own lives just to go to places to find the truth. Now, a statistic you come on one by one. Say the area you be. Who is going to uncover the truth that we so desperately need to know about? I pray and hope the police finds whoever did this, and also hope something like this never happens again. I will say that's it for this episode. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for videos like this every single week. This episode was sponsored by Ghanaman.com. I was credit and provisions more bush for Wagana. To your car online, no money in Wagana. Easy, simple cry. Say I am Tia no Tigo Etel, and that's a million you don't need a Visit Ghana Mart dot com. I wish I tell we meet again. Take care.